Right, um, short as you see is on the board. Uh, finally tracked it down to at least what board it is. You see here I've disconnected all the other parts of the modules of the amplifier over the signal generator. <laughs> and it looks like I've found the short to be coming to this board here. This board is part of the selector circuit and, and modulation control and things like that. If you pull this connector off here, you see the short clears. So what I need to do now is I need to try and work out which is the line coming into here, which is the, the uh, 0 volt. Put a fresh 0 volt connection on this board and then go to the 15 volt because I need to ascertain that I'm not disconnecting a 0 volt line and sort of giving me a, a false uh, sort of negative sort of thing. So what I've got to do is reconnect this back. And now force you a bit fiddly to work with this thing. Reconnect this connector back again, like that. Now, um, I need to try and find where the 15 volts comes in, the minus, the, the plus 15 volts. So it's probably this track here. Uh, there's a plus 15 here. This cap has been changed by me, I wondered. It's a problem with these caps, leaky. Um, so, let's have a look. Let's go to a connection, 0 volt connection on this board. And just see if we can see any. There's the minus. There's the plus sign. There's the minus. That looks okay. I think the easiest way to do it is to try and track this straight through. Um, so, what I will do is I will disconnect it. quite fragile these connectors now with age and the heat and stuff so you have to be a little bit careful um, so we need to go back to our point there's a ground this is the one that's got the short on it so let's get to there a minute just I'll just confirm that you know because I just disconnected the cable so track that through to here Connections come off a meter, that will help. So let's try again, let's just double check our connections. I'm getting confused here. Third pin in. So it's one, two, three, and it's this track here. I, think I might mark it with a marker pen actually. Might be the easiest thing to do. And you can keep coming back to the same point. So I just made a little black pen mark. So that's the, the, the one with the short on it. And that's coming to there's our ground connection, obviously. Looks like that pin there. Not point two ohms. So track that through. It goes to there. Comes through there. Comes through there. And there's that plated through hole, or that goes through to the other side of the board. So yep. Yeah. So it's that connection there. So we'll mark that one as well. This is for me more than you really because I do lose track of myself very easily. Okay, so that's that's our uh, connection we're interested in. And that connection comes through to the other side of the board. On the it looks like the brown brown connector, this one here. And then that shoots off down here, down around the edge of the board, up to up to the switch circuitry so I think the next thing to do is to uh, try and get the switch out of the uh, this panel out of the generator and see if we can see what the hell's going on so let's pop this off I need to find another screw actually to hold that in. I don't really like leaving one screw in there. I must have forgotten to put it back in for some reason. Let's pull that one out as well. Let's drop this ground connection here. This is where all the tuning uh, and stuff's done. It's quite a not something out of the 
the TARDIS inside there. It's quite impressive to look at. Okay, so drop these two connectors here. Let's have a look and we'll see what we got. Apart from that capacitor that looks like it's linked. I think I've checked all these capacitors a couple of years ago and they're all okay. Um, so that track looks like it comes around the outer edge, right around the outer edge, and goes to the centre switch position here. Um, I don't know if it goes anywhere else. multi-layer board um, but I suppose the thing to do is see if there's a short on this board to the ground connection and then if there isn't then we've got to try and work out where the hell the short is because it's certainly pointing towards this board here so there's a negative connection with the screw and I I reckon that this track here is shorted to ground no it's not that's always the way because when you think you know where you, what you're doing you don't Go around and check the others. Well, that one's shorty to ground, but that might have meant nothing on that track that I was expecting. So, I wonder if we put it back in when it's out of the board, We're not actually mounted in the, uh, the unit itself. I wonder if that will anything up so comes in like that ah. very awkward and very delicate you have to be very careful something to do with all these these switch controls if one of these is going down to ground that would cause a problem as well um, so what I'll do is I'll just stand the unit back up again go to my already pre-marked point I'll put it on buzzer so you can hear what's going on that's the track and that's our ground connection there Okay, just to confirm the buzzer is working. It comes into there, I thought. It comes to there. Ah, okay. So, present not showing a short anymore. I wonder if there's a short when it screw it to the when the unit the board when this board is screwed to the unit. I wonder if there's a short somewhere else. Runs across there. Can't see anywhere it could possibly short, unless of course one of those which is, is failing insulation, but I, I don't think it is. I wouldn't have thought they are. So let's pop that back in again, just in its resting place. I'm not going to screw it all up. I'm just going to place it back in so that short's still there on the uh, on the input to the or the connector to the power supply, so let's put that in just put one screw in just to hold it in position the screw to start is not very nice. Let's try this top one. Okay, I think I'm using the wrong screw. That looks like a metric. I'm supposed to be using a, some sort of a unified screw, I should think. Oh, that's going in. Okay. Right. So what we'll do is I'll go back to that connector again. Go 
basically the same point here, just to confirm that we're on the right track. Uh, the input to the unit is just here. There's a guard connection is What's the matter? What's going on here? Okay, short's back again. So that's definitely the short. It's clear now. That's interesting. It seems to be clear at the moment. What's the problem with that board over there? It, it is a switch. It's definitely around this board area. So let's reconnect back up here. Third pin in. Okay, that's the positive end and the meter. Then got a not what connection back on again. Presently, the short seems to be cleared. Let's put so many switches back in. Ah, there you go. That's that. Connect to that connector there, and we've the short returns. So, okay. So I've got to work out what that is. That wire. K10. <laughs> okay. Where does K10 go? So we're now tracking it down to, looks like, ah, well that's not good, it's inside this module here, by the looks of it. There's an internal short inside here. Oh. I don't know what it's actually doing, but it looks like all the oscillator outputs. Okay, so then I'm going to pause the video here, uh, put back some of the other stuff, uh, some of the connectors and things, and then we'll have another look to see if we can see where this has gone wrong.